awesome. We have a peanut butter and jelly dinosaur sandwich. They're not bagels. They're beagles. Oh, yes. So delicious. Thank you. Look at this beautiful lunchbox. What do you think, Phoebe? I love it. Welcome to the Fizzy Show. Ooh, it looks like Miss Hands is ready to make lunch. And that's my lunchbox. Phoebe, would you like a special lunch today? Roar, roar, roar! Yes, I want a dinosaur lunch! Miss Hands, can you make Phoebe a dinosaur lunch? Yes, I can. Woohoo! But, uh, exactly how are you going to do that? I'm going to make dinosaur sandwiches. Wow! Dinosaur watermelon. No way! Dinosaur gummies for dessert. Ooh, I love that. I have a dinosaur ice pack. Awesome sauce. And we're going to customize your lunchbox. I want you to help me pick out some stickers. Oh, cool. Are they dinosaur stickers? Nope. They're different kinds of food. Oh, I see pizza and cookies. That's right. There's even eggs and water and strawberries and noodles and cotton candy. Boba tea. Ooh, that's a hot pepper. Looks like we have some silly cookies in here. A churro, some chicken nuggets, a donut, a tropical drink. <laughs> oh, Phoebe. I picked out three. Cotton candy. Okay. A frosted cookie. Okay, we'll put that right here. And a donut. Okay, I'll put those on your lunchbox and I'll start making your dino lunch. Woohoo! So cotton candy is going right here. Frosted cookie is going right here. And the donut, dripping with frosting, is going right over here. Now, let's make this dino lunch. Let's start with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. First, the peanut butter. I'm going to put peanut butter just in the middle part of the sandwich, and you'll see why in a second. Time for some jelly. And just like the peanut butter, I'm putting jelly just in the middle of this sandwich. Here comes the super fun part. So I put this piece right on top of this piece. I'm taking this small dinosaur and pushing it down to seal the two pieces of bread together. And then I take a big dinosaur, put it over the little one, and cut the bread. Pull all these little pieces off, and let's check out our dino sandwich. Awesome, we have a peanut butter and jelly dinosaur sandwich, but it needs an eyeball. I have edible decorating pens. I'm going to give this dinosaur a little purple eye and see if I can make him smile. Now we have a little smiling dinosaur. Okay, little dinosaur, we're going to put you in the lunchbox just like that. Let's make dinosaur watermelon. I need to cut a slice of my watermelon. And kids never try this at home. Always have a parent help when you're using a knife. I'm going to use this sandwich cutter to make dinosaurs. Okay, let's pop out our little dinosaurs. Amazing, we have two watermelon dinosaurs. We'll put these in the lunchbox too. Time for some cucumbers. I'm going to take out the seeds using this little dinosaur. Look, the seeds made little tiny dinosaurs. And now we have cucumbers with dinosaur holes in them. And I'll put these in this part of the lunch box. These aren't dinosaurs, but they sure are delicious. I have some little bunny crackers that will go in this section. And now it's time for dinosaur gummy dessert. And to add a little more fun, we're gonna use these little picks to eat dessert, cucumbers, and even the watermelon. There's also a fork back here in case Phoebe wants to use that. This is awesome! Thank you, Miss Hands! You're welcome, Phoebe. I also need a water bottle and a lunchbox to carry this in. I got you covered, Phoebe. Oh, yay! I have this water bottle with a little cute cupcake on it for you. And a dinosaur lunch bag to put your lunchbox in. We'll just slide it right in here and zip it up. And you're ready to have your dinosaur lunch. Fizzy, Phoebe, there's something I want to show you. What? Dinosaurs! That's right. We have some dinosaurs trapped in ice. Oh, no! But I have a special way to get them out. Oh, let's see, let's see. So under these cups, there are dinosaurs 
Trapped in ice. Come on out, dinosaurs. Come on out. I have hot water right here, and I'm going to try to melt the ice using these droppers. Well, that doesn't sound too difficult. Well, the only thing is, Fizzy. Yeah, what is it? I need to avoid that guy. Woo! Oh, oh. Good luck, Miss Higgins. Ah! Whoa, dragon. Be a good dragon. I'm going to load my dropper up with water and start dripping it on the ice. I think it's starting to work. No, don't go near the dragon. Ah! Ah! I see some little dinosaur feet. Ah! Ooh, that's some cold ice. Let me keep pouring this on there and save our dinosaurs. If we can just get this ice to crack all the way around, we can get everyone out. Almost there. Come on, ice. Come on, ice. Crack. Woo! I have a cold hand. Oh, no. Please be good. No. No. Please be good. I almost have the dinosaurs out. No. There's ice around their necks. I need to ah! help them. You behave back there. Let me melt away this ice right here. And I think to finally set them free, I'm going to dump a bunch of hot water on the ice. And now, break them free! Okay, I'm putting away my blue dropper. Hey, that matched the, whoa, blue ice. And I'm going to get out a T-Rex. Oh, maybe he likes the T-Rex. Whoa, the yellow ice just dropped. Here we go, another T-Rex. This one, this one is orange. And our last dinosaur is out. But we still have two more chunks of ice and one cranky dragon. I'll use the green dropper on the green ice. I'm gonna work really quickly and try to get all of these dinosaurs out of the ice. Looks like we need more water. More water. They're almost out. We got out this pterodactyl. Yes, we got out another dinosaur. Little dinosaur, you are free. I'll use the yellow dropper on the yellow ice. Okay, time for lots of water on this ice. I see little dinosaur feet. Come on out, little dinosaur. Come on out. You're free. And we got another dinosaur out. Last dinosaur, you're out of there. Woohoo! Way to save all the dinosaurs, Miss Hands. Let's take a close look at them. This has been so much fun making a dinosaur lunch. Yeah, I hope we can make more lunches. That would be awesome sauce! Hello everybody! And welcome to Phoebe's Awesome Sauce Room! In case you couldn't tell, I love, love, love unicorns! And I'm going to make a unicorn face! Check this out! Give me a hand, Miss Hands! <laughs> okay, Phoebe, this looks like a lot of fun! So we have our unicorn head, but we need to pick eyes! Which eyes should we pick? The big ones with hearts in them! Okay, let's grab these big eyes with hearts inside of them. We'll put one right here and the other one right here. We need to pick out a mouth. We have the one that's yelling, ah! A little smile and then a big smile with an open mouth. The open smiling mouth, it looks so happy. All right, let's grab this big mouth right here. And the mouth goes right here. What a happy unicorn. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's add eyebrows. That's super cute. Okay, what kind of unicorn horn? Rainbow horn. Rainbow it is. I think this would work better on a piece of paper. So let's transfer this right here. And the unicorn horn. Should we add a bow or a crown? This unicorn needs a crown. One crown coming right up. Let's put it like this so we can see plenty of the unicorn horn. We also need to add the mane. So beautiful. This is a magical unicorn. We'll add this wand and a little rainbow right up here. A flower over here. One heart. 
two hearts, and I think we are all done. Phoebe, what do you think? This unicorn is perfect. Thanks, Miss Hands. Oh, that's my stomach. I'm super hungry. I better go wake up Fizzy so we can eat some food. Wow. Whoa, Fizzy, what is all this? It's breakfast. I'm cooking some eggs, sausage, and I'm going to make a smoothie. Oh, delicious. And then we need to make my very special lunch today. What kind of lunch do you want, Phoebe? A unicorn lunch. Awesome. First, I need to finish cooking the eggs and washing the fruits and vegetables to put in our smoothie. Oh, I can't wait to eat the egg. Yummy. Yum, 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 yum. Delicious. And, Phoebe, I made the sausage for you. Oh, thank you, Fizzy. Yum, 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 yum. That was delicious. I can't wait to have a smoothie. This smoothie is going to have a strawberry in it. Carrot. Mushroom. Oh, his hands, no mushrooms in there. Just kidding, Fizzy. How about um a banana? Good idea, Fizzy. Let's peel this banana. And put it in the smoothie. Now all the smoothie needs is lettuce. Um, I like spinach in my smoothies, but I don't know about this lettuce. <laughs> okay, Fizzy, let's go ahead and turn the blender on and make this smoothie. Yay! Then we can make a unicorn lunch. Okay, it's time to blend the smoothie. Now it's all done. We just need to pour a cup for Fizzy. Here we go. Oh, yes, so delicious. Thank you. All done. And now some for Phoebe. Oh, yeah, smoothie time. Yum, 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 Delicious. Let's make that unicorn lunch. Okay, Phoebe, let's make lunch in your room. Cool, Fizzy, but um, I have nothing to make lunch with. Oh, we just need a little Fizzy magic. Fizzy, Wizzy, Bubbizzy, Bop! Whoa, Fizzy, you really outdid yourself, thank you. You're welcome, Phoebe. But, um, I don't know how to make the lunch. Oh, Miss Hands will help us. Miss Hands! Hey, guys, I'm happy to help. And first things first, let's decorate this lunchbox. Since the theme is unicorns, let's put a unicorn right in the center here. We can also add a super yummy cupcake, a beautiful crown. Because this is a lunch and we are going to be adding bananas, let's add this banana sticker. It's totally bananas. And Phoebe doesn't just like unicorns, she loves dogs as well. So let's add this hilarious boxer dog sticker wearing glasses to her lunchbox. All right, now that it looks super cool, let's make the food. Phoebe loves peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So let's make a unicorn peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Here we go. Okay, we need to fit the whole unicorn on there. So I need to turn it just like this and press it into the bread. And now when I take away all the extra bread that my dogs will enjoy, we have a unicorn. We just need to do the same thing to the other slice of bread. Awesome, here we go. Pop it out. Time to add peanut butter and jelly. So first, let me get the peanut butter and spread it on our unicorn. Don't forget the horn. And now the jelly. And now we just push it all together. Okay, this looks pretty awesome as it is, but let's add some color. These are edible markers. We can color in the little horn a little bit. Just some pink stripes on there. And let's add a little orange too. Add a little orange to the mane and a little blue down here to the mane. It already looks like it has a mouth right here. So I'm just gonna darken it with the black marker. And for the eye, oh, this is going to be so funny. It is fizzy. We have these eye picks and I think, hmm, this one would make it look like it has two eyes and it's the profile, so we only need one eye. Let's add one big eye right here. And this will help hold it together. Isn't that so cute? Yes, I love it and it looks delicious. Okay, let's put our unicorn sandwich into our lunchbox and let's make some shapes 
with our fruits and vegetables. We have a pear right here. And kids, always ask your parents for help if you need to cut something. I'm cutting slices of pear. And now I can cut out stars. Here's a star. Another star right over here. This unicorn is a star. And we also have hearts because Phoebe hearts unicorns. We need to find a big slice of carrot to make a heart. There it is. And I think this one is big enough to make a star. And now we can take our banana. We're going to cut slices of banana. We can put them in a lunchbox just like this and they're super fun circle bananas. Or we can use this and make banana hearts. And of course, banana stars. We can put our whole pieces of carrot and bananas right over here. And then our fun shapes on this side. We're not done with shapes yet. We still have this cucumber. So we'll slice it up. And we can cut out the seeds in the shape of a heart, just like that. Or in the shape of a star, just like that. And then fill in the space with a carrot. Look how cool that looks. In goes our little heart. And we can put little unicorn picks into our food to help pick them up and eat them. Ooh, this isn't a unicorn, but it is an ice cream cone. That's so cool. And there's even a rainbow. That looks adorable. The biggest surprise for Phoebe will be what we put in this thermos. But first, we need to add some dessert. Unicorn gummies. There are purple and blue gummies. Blue and pink gummies, yellow and pink gummies. And I think those are all the color combinations. Let's keep adding some to Phoebe's lunch because I know she's going to love these. Okay, Miss Hands, I have to know what's going in that unicorn thermos. Well, Phoebe, what's your favorite food? Mac and cheese. And what's your favorite kind of mythical animal? <laughs> Unicorns, of course. Okay, so combine the two. Unicorn mac and cheese? That's right. We have unicorn mac and cheese. Look at that. Put it right in the thermos. Here's one that's shaped like a unicorn. And here's a rainbow. And there are stars. And this thermos will keep it nice and warm. So at lunchtime, you'll have warm unicorn mac and cheese. Let's take a look at this. We're going to put your lunch box with your food in here. There's a unicorn. There's cake, donuts, cupcakes, strawberries. Ooh, it all looks so delicious. We gotta open this up because not only do we need to add your lunch box, we also need to add your unicorn ice pack. We'll put it right over here. And now with your lunch packed, all you need is a unicorn thermos for your water. Wow, thanks, Miss Hands. Thanks, Fizzy. You're welcome, Phoebe. I hope you love your unicorn-themed lunch. Oh, I know I will. Should we tell them, Fizzy? Yes, let's tell them. Miss Hands got four puppies. And they are adorable beagles. Ha, huh, Phoebe, they're not bagels. They're beagles. Oopsie, that's right. They're three-month-old beagles. But we're not keeping them all. That's right. Miss Hands is fostering them. That means they live in her house until they can find their forever family and go to their new homes. But the really, really good news is Miss Hands is adopting one. That's right. This little guy's name is Rocky. And we all love him so, so much. Hey, Fizzy, that got me thinking about my lunch today. Yeah, we need to make your lunch for preschool. What would you like? I want a puppy dog themed lunch. Let's do it! Fizzy, Wizzy, Bubbizzy, Bop! Whoa! Looks like we have everything we need. Uh, Fizzy, who is this dog? That's Pugsley, the pug! Alright, Miss Hands, let's make this little puppy themed lunch! Hi everybody, it's me, Miss Hans, and I'm so excited to make this puppy-themed lunch. We have all kinds of dog cookie cutters to make really fun shapes. And we have a bunch of dog stickers to 
put on Phoebe's lunchbox. Look at these stickers. We have a hot dog dog. There are so many different whoa pug stickers. Here's a German Shepherd, another pug, a pug mermaid, a boxer. Wait, another pug, another pug. This looks like a corgi, a pug, a boxer, a dancing dog, a dachshund, a great Dane with Dalmatian spots, a floating corgi, pug and a donut. I think we need that for the lunchbox. Arr, a pirate puppy, St. Patrick's Day puppy. This boxer wearing glasses. Coffee pup, royal pug, pug on a skateboard. Okay, I don't see any beagles in here. So let's take this DJ Corgi, pug and a donut, pirate shepherd, pug on a skateboard, and dachshund on a longboard, and put these on the lunchbox. That lunchbox looks dog! Now, let's put some food in there. Okay, Phoebe. Let's go ahead and open this up and prepare it for food. Let's start with the sandwich. We'll make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. We'll put the peanut butter on here. And the jelly. Put the two pieces together. We can use a giant paw to cut out the sandwich. A giant bone. Or a dog. Let's use the dog. That's a cute little doggy sandwich. Let's give him a face. I have edible ink markers. And I can give this little dog an ear that flaps down just like a beagle. A little eye. He already has kind of a mouth here. Let's do that. And a little nose. We can even put little toes on him. Let's see, does this look like our beagle? <laughs> a little bit. Yes, it does. We'll put it in the lunchbox. And now it's time to cut the watermelon. Make sure your parents are the ones using knives if you're making a lunch. I'm going to cut a thin slice. And I'll cut off the rind. The rind is the white and green part of the watermelon. And now we can use shapes like bones. Look at that, we have a watermelon bone. We'll put that in the lunchbox. We can also make a paw print. Isn't that so cute? And let's make a little dog shape. There it is, let me just get it out of the watermelon. Now we have a little dog watermelon. I also have a cucumber and we can cut slices. and cut out little bones, just like that. Here's another piece of that cucumber bone. And if we wanna make them extra fancy, we'll take a carrot, make the bone shape. We can pop it out with our knife, whoop. And look what I can do now. I can put the carrot inside of our cucumber and make a super cute cucumber carrot bone snack. I can do that with this paw as well. We'll push the paw in. So we have the paw snack. And I tried to find a carrot big enough to make the carrot paw. And then it slides in here to make our cucumber carrot paw treat. Oh, Miss Hands, I think we need a few more things for Phoebe's lunch. I think so too, Fizzy. Fizzy, Wizzy, Boobazzy, Bob. Oh, Fizzy, I love these treats. So these are tiger paws, but they could also be Puppy dog paws too. Let's take a whole bunch and put them in the lunchbox. Come back here, little paw. And these aren't puppy treats, they're goldfish. But we can pour out some goldfish. Look at all the different colors. And now we can pour them into the lunchbox. Let's put the lid back on. And now Phoebe, you're ready to take your lunch to school. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have a really fun idea. Fizzy, Fizzy Wizzy, Wizzy Bubbizzy, Bob! Oh, Fizzy, what is it? It's a dog activity book! Let's have some fun! Cool! All right, let's check this out. Wow, well, look at all the dogs on here. And I even see a little beagle back here. 
Connect the dots. Oh, this is going to be fun. And look at all these cute puppy dogs. Okay, this first one looks pretty easy. One, two, three, four, five. All the way over here is six, seven, up, 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 up to eight, nine, ten. What a cute puppy dog. Look at this adorable one and look at all the numbers. Whoa, it goes up to 71. Okay, we're gonna speed this up while I do this. While she does that, I'm gonna sing a quick song. Puppy dog, oh, puppy dog, why are you so cute? Puppy dog, puppy dog, why are you so cute? I love your nose, I love your eyes, I love your ears and even your paws. Puppy dog, oh puppy dog, why are you so cute? Cute! Look at that adorable little dog. It kind of looks like a beagle. It's time for some mazes. Look at this cute dog and it's trying to get to its bone. Let's see which path leads to the bone. Let's start in the middle here. Okay. Okay. And that is not it. Oh no. How about the first one? Here we go. We're gonna go up here. Oh no, 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 that's not it either. Okay, here we go. Winding around and around and nope. Oh, it must be this last one. It's going all the way across here, all the way here, all the way here, and yes, it got the bone. Look at this wild maze. There's this doggy up here and you can go Path one, two, or three to get to the happy boy here. Hmm, I'm going with three. Oh boy, I feel like maybe I made the wrong choice. Well, let's keep going and find out. Here we go, and that's a dead end. Okay, let's go with two. Come on, let's go up here. <gasps> maybe this is right, maybe this is the right way to go. We're almost there. We're almost there. Yes, we made it to the boy. Hey, look, it's picture puzzles. Look at these pictures. I need to find 10 differences between the two pictures. Okay, let's see. Starting right here at the food bowl, look. It's completely empty here and it looks like it has water down here. There's a flower here and no flower here. Look at the pig. His tail is barely on the goat here, but it's all the way up here on the goat. The cat has no tail here, but it has a tail down here. Ooh, it looks like the bone changed positions. Look, it's tilting towards the mouth here and it's in a different position down here. And look at this little guy, no ear here, but there's an ear down here. And look at his head, it's all the way back here, but it's all the way to the shrubs right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's still three more that we haven't found yet. And you look right here. You can just see a little bit of the trees in the background here, but it's a lot taller right here. Oh, look at the kitty cat. He has white fur in his head here, but nothing right here. And look at the dog house. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. There's a big difference there. So that's 10 different things that we found. This has been so much fun making a puppy themed lunch. Fizzy, Fizzy, is she coming over? Yes. Maribel is coming with a lunchbox for you. Oh, I cannot wait! Do 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 do. Ah, a lunchbox! I'm so happy you can use my old lunchbox. Yeah, I lost mine, so I'm happy to have one to use. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I have another surprise for you. I love surprises. I brought you some gummy noodles. Ooh, delicious! And I brought you some sushi. Oh, that will be perfect. I'm going to put it in my lunch. There's just one thing, Mirabelle. What is it, Phoebe? Um, this lunchbox. It looks like it's been used. There are scratches all over it. Oh, sorry about that. I thought you knew it was my old lunchbox. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, Phoebe, don't worry about it being an old lunchbox. Look what I did to Mirabelle's old lunchbox. It's beautiful. What did you do? Well, it wasn't beautiful before I decorated it. Look, I put a unicorn sticker on there, my name, and now it's beautiful. And you can do the same thing to Mirabelle's old lunchbox. Oh, I cannot wait. Let's do it. That's 
a great idea. Let's put your name on it and add some stickers. Oh, Miss Hands. Hi, everyone. It's me, Miss Hands, and we are going to make this lunchbox beautiful for Phoebe. So, Phoebe, what would you like on your lunchbox? A mermaid, a castle, an octopus, and my name. We have a mermaid with pink hair just like Phoebe's. We'll put it right here on the lunchbox. That's perfect. Here's a beautiful princess castle we can put on the lunchbox. And here's a big octopus. We can put that on the lunchbox right here. Phoebe, what color would you like your name to be? Um, uh, purple! Let's use these purple letters. We need to start with a P. We'll put the P right here. We need an H right here. An O right here. Up next, an E, and that goes right down here. A B right here. And another E. And that E is going right here. And now it says Phoebe. I think we need to add a couple more stickers. Oh, I think so too. And you get to pick them out, Miss Hands. Okay, Phoebe, I'll do that. I bet Phoebe would like a big pink diamond. I'll put that right here. And now a yellow seashell. We'll go right here, close to that mermaid. And I think we need a pink heart right here. Look at this beautiful lunchbox. What do you think, Phoebe? I love it. Thank you for the great idea, Isabella. You're welcome, Phoebe. Now it's time to put food in that lunchbox. Oh, food, 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 food! Okay, let's go ahead and open up this beautiful lunchbox. And look, we have one, two, three different compartments. Let's fill up the big compartment with sushi. There's an orange fish on this sushi. Let's put one, two, three in there. We have these sushi rolls. We'll put one, two, three in there. Ooh, here's some shrimp. Let's put one, two, three, four in there. It looks like we have some fish eggs too. I'm going to put one, two, three, four in there. And let's add some green edamame. We'll put two of those in there. That looks great. Don't forget the yummy noodles. Oh, that's right, we have yummy noodles. Let's get out a bunch of noodles and put these noodles right here. Wow, we really filled up that compartment. And for dessert, I have one, two pastry puffs going in here. We'll close this up. And now Phoebe's lunch is ready for school. Hey Phoebe, I have a surprise for you. What is it, what is it? Check this out. Fizzy, wizzy, bubbizzy, bop. Uh, what is it? It's a container for your snack. Oh yeah, I get snack at school. Miss Hands, I need a sticker. Okay Phoebe, I have the perfect sticker for this container. It's an adorable little unicorn. Now let's open this up and see what kind of snack Phoebe should bring to school. An ice cream cone! Come on, come on ice cream cone! Get in there, get in there! Uh, Phoebe? Yes? I don't think it's gonna fit and it would melt. And let's try to bring a healthier snack. Oh, okay! Whoop. Bring up butter and jelly sandwich gun right in there! Oh no, it's too big! Oh, I have one more idea. Whoop. Okay, Phoebe, let me take that and I'm going to cut it in half and now I'll put it in the container and now you have a healthy snack for school. Thanks, Miss Hands. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have one more surprise for Phoebe. Hold on. Uh, I can't find my surprise. Oh, Maribel, maybe if you whisper the surprise in my ear, I can use fizzy magic and make it appear. Oh, great idea, Fizzy. You got it, Mirabelle! Fizzy! Wizzy! Bobizzy! Bop! Ooh, that looks cool, but uh, what is it? For 
we're going to make slime ice cream. Awesome! Let's start by making some clear slime. I'm going to add water to our slime activator. And now I'm going to shake it up. I'm going to add clear glue to our bowl. Here we go. Time to add the activator. And stir it, stir it, stir it until we make some slime. Look, it's already starting to come together. Hey, Phoebe. Yes? What flavor ice cream would you like to make? Strawberry. Let's add this pink color to it. And mix it into the slime. Here's our slime. I'm going to add a little snow powder into the slime. Mix it together. Let's see. Oh, yes. That is some nice, icy, frosty, strawberry slime. Let's put it in our ice cream cone. There we go, and now we just put it on top of the cone. That looks delicious, Phoebe. Oh, uh, Miss Hands? Yes, Phoebe. You forgot something. What is it? The pink sprinkles. Oh, let me add that. Here's our pink sprinkles. We can open this up and pour our little sprinkles in there. There we go, and now we have strawberry ice cream with pink sprinkles on top. This was so much fun making your lunch and making slime ice cream. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And we hope you have a 